Hey guys, Can Cream here. As you can probably already tell, there's not going to be a Candid Can video this week. I am sort of taking a week off to focus on some other side projects I've been wanting to do and kind of just get away from the editing software for a little while. I was starting to get kind of uh, burnt out. So I figured it was a good idea to take a little bit of a break, get my energy back, come back to that series with a uh, fresh mindset later on. But you know me, I still don't like leaving you guys without any content whatsoever. So, I figured I'll just do one more sort of uh, audio log for you guys. Uh, there's a bit of a theme to this one. I want to talk to you about uh, my personal idea for the best My Little Pony uh, video game. Uh, the theme here is that I'm currently working on a Let's Play series. I've already done some recording. I need to get to editing it. So this is, well actually maybe it's less of a theme and more of a cheap excuse for a plug, but hey, there you go. You gotta advertise however you can, right? So, to the actual matter at hand, I do find it surprising that with as long as uh, the Friendship is Magic series has been on the air, and for as popular as it, as it uh, has become with all the events and the merchandise and the, the littering of uh, fan-made content all over the internet, I'm surprised that no major publisher has tried to make uh, a actual My Little Pony video game, either like a console game or a PC game, uh, except for maybe some cheapy little handheld, you know, simple kids games that might be out there that I don't know of or am just not thinking of. There are a lot of good uh, fan-made uh, My Little Pony games, don't get me wrong, you have the, the My Little Investigations game, which I downloaded over a year ago and haven't played yet. The, uh, the Ponyvania game. There was a really good um, demo for a sort of visual novel, if you want to call that a game. What was it called? It was called something like uh, Love and Mysteries. Mysteries and Love, something like that. I don't think it ever... I think the website went down and they never bothered to bring it back up. I don't think that game's ever being finished, which is a shame because it was fun. But if there was a actual My Little Pony game, personally... Now, again, this is just going by what... I want. I'm not saying if this is the end all be all, this is what's perfect. This is. I set my chair. This is what would be perfect for me as an individual, which is great if you are me, but if you're not, then you might not agree with my list here. I think a, a type of RPG game would be fitting most of all. Uh, you know, maybe turn based combat, uh, leveling system, all that great stuff. Getting to travel across Equestria, going from. Ponyville, to Canterlot, to the Badlands, to the Griffin Kingdom, and every place in between. Crystal Empire, of course. And Appaloosa! Also good. And I personally, I love any game that, that lets you uh, create your own character. I will spend hours in the character creation screen perfecting every last little itty bitty detail. So give me a game where I get to make my own OC, put them into the game world, and then interact with the canon characters. I will be in heaven. I will play that game 10 out of 10, 5 out of 5, you know, 6 stars on Yelp. So personally, this is what I'm thinking. You uh, you create your own character. You make it a, a, a Earth Pony or a Pegasi or a Unicorn. And the, the species you choose gives you a couple of, you know, a boost to certain base stats. Then you go in, then you use a point system to improve... Everything else, you know, your your strength, your speed, your agility, your resistance, blah, 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 however you want to do that. And then you kind of go along, you start recruiting the other main six to fight beside you. Maybe you're rescuing the princesses, maybe you're you're fighting a great evil that's come to the land. Maybe it's a returning character, like Sombra comes back, or uh, Chrysalis comes back, or maybe it's just a brand new character made just for the game. Doesn't matter. Just go through level through level. Fighting, you know, little baddies, gaining experience points, getting gold, going to shops, that whole classic RPG system. It's it, it's great, and I think it fits kind of well because a lot of these RPG games kind of center around a sort of uh, a medieval uh, magic and might sort of setting, which basically is what MLP is. It's not medieval, of course, but, I mean, you look at a lot of the technology that's commonplace, and it's definitely not where we are, what we would call modern day, you know what I'm saying? It is a lot closer to what you would see in role-playing games, maybe something like around a, like Final Fantasy sort of thing, where there's a mixture of 
technology and tradition and magic. That's sort of where MLP is. And then of course you do have the magic, you do have the actual fighting. We have seen some ponies with weaponry, so we know it does exist. We know there have been wars of some kind. So obviously we have all the little building blocks there to build up a pretty good RPG. I don't even think I really need to go into explaining it that much. I imagine just by saying RPG and My Little Pony, you're already probably putting together exactly how you would want to see it. Personally, in my head, I'm kind of seeing this as like a Super Nintendo kind of setup with graphics and all that, but that's just kind of where my head goes when I think RPG. I don't really think of modern day RPGs that much. They've kind of, they've kind of gone away. I mean, they're still there, but they're not in the same sense that they used to be. Back in my day, when we only had 16-bit graphics... <laughs> uh, sorry. I am, I'm, you know, this, this, is, this is what you get when you sit me down from a microphone and let me just talk. You get the rambling that's sometimes on topic, and now the rambling that's going all over the place. Rating myself back in, come on, come on, you can do this guy. Um, make the story really important to the game is where I think uh, uh, should be where this goes. Obviously, you always want good gameplay, but the other half of role-playing games... And RPGs is always the story. It's always like a 50-50, right? So you have to have a really good story with this. So you need to make it something really in-depth. I think something where the player really feels like they are a part of this world, which I think is something that a lot of bronies would love. I mean, if you get a game that makes you really feel like you could be a part of Equestria, even if the mechanics for the game weren't that good, I think a lot of people would be willing to look past that. So make a game, make the character feel like they're part of Equestria. You know what, maybe even, for the heck of it, because I love this too, maybe put in romance options as well. You know, make any of the main six romanceable, and maybe a handful of secondary characters romanceable. Why not, you know? R RPGs love that stuff. I mean, especially Bioware games with the Mass Effect games and the uh, uh, Dragon Age games. They all had romance options that you could either go down or ignore entirely if you didn't want to. I mean, why, why not do that again? Make it just a little optional side thing. It's not really important to the story. It's there if you want it. Have fun with it. That way you can have your own waifu, you know? Obviously, Luna would have to be one of them. Just for me. I'm the only one that would be able to. None of you guys would, because she's mine. I call dibs. <laughs> and now the entire reason that I want the game is now revealed. Ah, uh, just so I can romance Luna. Gah, why can't I have that game? But honestly... I think there is a lot of potential here, and I'm not just, I'm not saying that as a joke, I'm saying that seriously. Overall, I think if uh, any, not, okay, not any company, certain companies maybe be better in the hands of something a little more uh, I indie than AAA game developer, but if a, a company, a serious company, could get the backing, maybe even just do a Kickstarter, you know, that's really popular these days. If Shenmue 3 can have all the money in the world and still pull off a Kickstarter. I think this can too. Um, have a company make this game. I think with proper advertising you uh, and a lot of word of mouth, because obviously with things like Equestria Daily, if this happened, it would get word of mouth insanely quickly. I think you really could turn a good profit on this game, because obviously, again, with the conventions all over the country and actually overseas as well, for those of you who, you know, obviously aren't living in America. Um, and all of the merchandise being sold. I mean, Build-A-Bear now has My Little Pony stuff. McDonald's is now doing a second My Little Pony toy run. Uh, you see these people who make livings off of creating these really intricate, detailed plush uh, uh, plushes. We, you know, Walmart is selling MLP stuff. I assume things like Kmart and Target are selling MLP stuff. I know where I work, we have a collection of MLP toys, and the merchandise is just selling like crazy for little kids, and especially for adults who are willing to put out a lot more money to get the higher quality stuff. There's that card game. Why not a video game? Honestly, is there any reason why we couldn't? I don't think there is. The only reason would be because of the risk, which is why a lot of game companies kind of stick with what is known to be good sellers, which is why you have a lot of sequels, uh, why you have a lot of games that are essentially the same thing in different packaging. They know what sells, and they kind of stick to that. But every now and then, you do have a company that's willing to try something new, 
And that's how you get those brand new IPs. That's how you get the new big brand games because someone else tried an idea and it worked. Well, we have My Little Pony and it obviously already works just judging by the amount of, uh, of merchandise there is, of fan-made games that there are, about the, the staggering amount of music being made, enough that you can have a My Little Pony radio station playing songs 24-7 and you probably wouldn't hear the same song maybe even in the same week, let alone the same day. The, the fandom itself is not showing any signs of stopping. I know a lot of people are saying that, oh, it's, it's dying out, the fandom is dying. I don't agree. I think we're still going just as strong as ever. I just think that... I'm sorry, I know I'm getting off topic, but let me just say really quick, I think that the reason why it looks like it is is because uh, being interested in My Little Pony is no longer this big uh, revelation thing. I think it's becomes it's becoming, I should say, such a part of mainstream culture now that it doesn't. it's not perceived as a big deal. It's... I mean, it's, it'd be like saying the, the the football fandom is dying out because, you know, there's not a big thing every time someone else becomes a fan of a football team. Again, it's something that's just become so ingrained in our society that, except for a couple of people that, for some reason, are insanely invested in what other people do and are, and are into, you know, who cares if you like My Little Pony these days? The fandom is still going strong. There would definitely be an audience for that game. You know, put it on the PC, put it on a console, take your pick. I think it would sell a li just a little bit of actual effort into this game, and it would sell. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here, uh, because I will just keep talking for as long as this microphone keeps recording me for, until it breaks, until we all turn to dust and the sun burns out. I do not know how to shut up, so I am now going to hit the stop button. But thank you guys very much for listening to me today. I, I do hope I will have regular content for Can It Can uh, next week. I can't actually make a promise. Um, I will try, though. I will try. And I do hope you check out uh, some of the other side projects that I'm working on, if and when they eventually coming out. And when I do get this Let's Play series going, please, please, please give me some feedback on that, because I'm still trying to figure out how I want the format of that series to be how I want it to sound, how much I want it to be edited, you know. So if you do see that, if you have the free time, check it out, watch it for a bit, or watch the whole thing if I'm interesting you. Tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't like, tell me what to improve. I'm always looking for creative feedback because, hey, what I do, I do for you beautiful, beautiful internet people. So thank you very much once again, and I'll see you later. Stay pony, my friends.